Barabara kabisa dakika moja imekatika baada ya saa kumi na siri karibu jina langu ni Suleiman Yeri tukianza taarifa hizi na taarifa ya Tanzania kutoka katika kaunti ya Migori ambapo watu wa nane wameaga dunia huku wengine kadhaa wakijeruhiwa baada ya lori lililokuwa limebeba mpunga kutoka Nairobi kuelekea Sirare lilipokosa mwelekeo na kuwagonga watu hao kwenye barabara kuu ya Migori mapema leo ma, kwa mujibu wa mashuhuda lori hilo lilikosa breki ajali hiyo ilipotokea kamanda wa polisi wa Migori Makwa Njala amesema kuwa majeruhi wamelanzwa kwenye hospitali mbali mbali za mji wa Migori. Kiwa ime katika break anajaribu hut akiwa amehakisha mata na watu hapo bridge tunaelezwa kwamba ilikonga mama moja na kijana moja ndiye kapita ikiwe na hut na kufika hapo mbele ya stage ya guardian ama hapo hisi coach ndio iliweza kugonga uh, trailer ambayo ilikuwa na mchanga na hiyo ikaanguka imeua watu wa ku, watu kumi watu kumi wamekufa paka wengine bado wako chini hawajatolewa chini alilalia alilalia wengine sasa wengine bado hawajatoa paka sasa hivi tunafanya bidii ya kutoa tuone vile tunaweza furuta gari ili tusaidie wenzetu ambao walipata majiraa wenye walipata majiraa ni walikuwa watu wengi wamekimbishwa hospitali ili wapate matibabu hata huyu driver mejaribu kungangana ku kuepa lakini watu walikuwa wamejaa kwa kwa nini kwa barabara lakini hii gari mmeleta accident sana juzi tuliona kama governor alijaribu kututolea hizi mabanda kumbe ni kama alikuwa anajaribu kama ni roho nilimwingilia kwa roho yake ili atuepuke kwa huyo mkosi ya barabara kwa hakika eh hiyo hiyo kitu hiyo kitendo ambacho imetendeka ya leo ni ni, ni kitendo ambacho ni ni uzuni sana sasa ombi langu ambalo nangependa kuomba serikali ni kuwa magari yanakuanga mengi hapa njiani sana kuna mtu ambaye huwa anadhibiti so yafaa serikali hii iweke polisi ama watu ambao wanaweza kudhibiti magari ili zisisimame ovyo ovyo njiani kampeni ya kupinga ulanguzi wa bin adam imeanzishwa katika kaunti ya kilifi hii ni baada ya kubainika kuwa visa vya ulanguzi wa bin adam vinazidi kuongezeka na waathiriwa wanateswa kimwili na kisaikolojia kulingana na maafisa baadhi ya waathiriwa wa ulanguzi wa bin adam hawajui hata wanasafirishwa kwenda nchi nyingine wanahadaiwa kwa ahadi za ajira hasa mashariki ya kati wakiwa na taarifa kidogo kuhusu watakachokipata akizungumza wakati wa kikao na cha uhamasishaji kilichoandaliwa na Azad shirika la kijamii ambalo liko mstari wa mbele katika kampeni dhidi ya ulanguzi wa bin Adam tatu alisema lengo tu ni kuelimisha vijana sawa wasichana kuhusu biashara ya ulanguzi wa bin Adam ya victims wa human trafficking na si watu wote wenye wanajua meaning ya human trafficking wengine wanadhani human trafficking ni kuchukuliwa uende Dubai ama kutolewa viungo but hawajui pia psychology unaweza kuwa umeaffect na human trafficking so that's why tumeamua kuja Malindi na kukreta awareness like for example uh, freedom of going out by yourself maybe at the supermarket or at the uh, at the beach or maybe at the playground You are not allowed to go out uh, by yourself not unless you are accompanied by a family member or the family itself so kuna vitu viwili vitatu ambavyo sikuwa nimefahamu lakini leo azadi has uh, has enlightened me na nimeshukuru ile shirika kwa kuni niwezesha kujua mambo tofauti ya human trafficking na definitions zake experience i was in saudi arabia but ndipo toka malindi I was not told that I'm going to Saudi Arabia. I was told I'm going to Turkey, Turkey to do a salonist work. So when we reached at uh, airport, we were given the what visa. And the visa was saying that we are going to Saudi Arabia. And huwezi uh, rudi ndege inawangoja. So we were we traveled. But uh, tulipofika Saudi Arabia my friend i had 
sote tukawa tume separate kila mtu alikuwa yuko kwa point yake different homes na mkurugenzi wa kampuni ya Robi Search Robert Manyala amezindua huduma za mtandao za mauzo inayolenga kuwapa wafanyabiashara kote nchini huduma hizo bila malipo. Agezungumza wakati wa mafunzo ya siku moja kwa wafanyakazi Manyala alisema kuwa mikakati huo utaimarisha idadi ya wateja kote nchini na kubuni nafasi za ajira kwa vijana hasa wanaofanya biashara za digitali. Ameongeza kusema kuwa wamekuwa na wateja 1500 nchini Kenya na nje. This is a day that we have dedicated every last Friday of the month, every day uh, or every month. We are taking opportunity as a company to invest our money to give back to the community in Kenya. And, uh, uh, and anybody who is looking for customer who is saying, I'm not able to afford digital marketing, then we uplift them. We try to take whatever they do, we show it to the world. Then through that, somebody will be able to call them. If somebody calls them, they will be able to get a sale. And that is our happiness, that we are able to create job opportunity. We are having a hashtag for Free Market Day. So are you having a business out there? You want to promote your business? You want a business? be known I go to the Twitter hashtag research free market day uh, all businesses in Kenya you see the same people advertise on Facebook Instagram but uh, the cash is becoming really difficult for people so we are here we are working a journey with every business so you come you will market for your product your company is known whether you are in Mombasa you are in Kisumu Nakuru Eldoret everyone will market all your business we are promoting businesses online via social media marketing in that uh, you can be able to get clients online without you having to visit them uh, na mzozo wa ardhi unatokota kati ya kanisa moja eneo la Mbakasi na mstawishaji wa binafsi huko kila upande ukidai kumiliki kipande hicho kanisa la African Brotherhood linadai kuwa walinunua kipande cha ardhi mukuru kwa njenga eneo bunge la Mbakasi kusini Walipoanza kujenga mstawishaji mmoja wa binafsi akajitokeza kama mmiliki wa kipande hicho cha ardhi na akaanza ujenzi. Viongozi wa kanisa wakiripoti kwa kituo cha polisi hilo la pande zote mbili wakakubaliana wasitishe ujenzi hadi itakapojulikana nani hasa ndiye mmiliki. Hata hivyo mstawishaji huyo wa binafsi anadaiwa kukiuka agizo hilo na sasa ameanza ujenzi tena. Kwa sababu tulienda kwa DCIO na akasema hii kazi isimamishwe mm. naona sasa hakuna kazi imesimamishwa hapa huyu yes. mtu akona intention ya kujenga leo na kesho kwa sababu anajua ni holiday yes. mpaka tuesday yeah. so kama church tunasema tunataka uwanja wetu na hii kazi tunaomba isimamishwe na tunaomba DCIO pamoja na OCS na wale wengine wote washukurike waangalie yale mapatano ambayo tulizungumza tukikaa kwa ofisi ya DCIO kwamba kazi isimamishwe na ABC tusimamishe kazi bona wamempatia huyu protection aendelee na kazi yake Jamii za Borana na Gabra katika kaunti ya Marsabit zimetakiwa kuzidi kuishi kwa amani kama walivyoishi wakati wa kiangazi na ukame mkubwa Mkurugenzi mkuu wa shirika la Northern Rangelands Trust NRT Dida Fayo agezungumza na makundi ya wazee akina mama na vijana kutoka jamii hizo mbili katika eneo la Haro Chopa eneo bunge la Saku aliwataka kuzidi kuishi pamoja hata wakati huu mvua zimenyesha bila kulazimishwa aidha amesema kuwa shirika hilo litaandaa mkutano mwingine mashinani ambapo utajumuisha vijana wa jamii hizo mbili ili pia ujumbe na sauti zao zisikike kila moja yetu na Kenya mzima inajua kuwa kile ambacho kilikuwa kimeendelea hapo awali e, vita ya wasama kati ya jamii ya Gabra na Waborana lakini kwa mapenzi ya Mwenyezi Mungu amani umepatikana na umeletwa na Mwenyezi Mungu na imeanza kitambo mgali wakati tulikuwa na ile kiangazi kali potupo hapa ni mahali damu ya watu wengi walimwagikia na tukakutana mahali hapa tukasema wacha tulete wazee wetu vijana wetu akina mama wetu pamoja tuzungumze e, vile ambavyo tutaenda mbele e, itakavyokuwa mbele yetu e, jambo la muhimu la kukumbuka siku ya leo na pia kushukuru na, ku, na kupeana heko kwa watu wetu ni kwamba wakati tulikuwa tunapitia jilali e, na ukame wa muda miaka miwili e, wafugaji wetu walikutana kwenye 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 viwanja vya malisho na kati ya jamii na waborana na wagabra na wakaamua kukaa na amani na vile ambavyo waliweza kukaa na amani 
tukafika Mungu akatukumbuka akatupatia mvua na tukasema kwamba sasa vile mvua imenyesha kwa sababu inaweza kuwa tulilazimishwa na hali ya ukame kuleta amani pamoja wacha tulete vichwa vya watu wetu pamoja na wazee wetu tuzungumze ili wakati wa mvua huu mvua hii tusiweze kupata mtafaruko yote ya hali ya, ya ukosefu wa usalama na zaidi ya wanawake elfu moja kutoka kaunti za Kajado, Naro, Machakos wametoa wito wa amani kote nchini. Wakizungumza wakati wa kongamano la taifa la makanisa mbalimbali katika kanisa la Dominion International Chapel liloko Kiserian, wasimamizi wa kongamano hilo la siku nne waliwahimiza viongozi wa taifa kuunganisha taifa na kuhubiri amani. <tos> We have come from a, a long drought, but today we are celebrating the doings of God. So we are here also to thank God kwa sababu ya mvua. We are also here to thank God because of the peace of our nation. We are also here to thank God because of the, the because of the school of our children. Weba Kenya kama wewe pia ni mkenya, kuombea Kenya, kuombea raisi wa Kenya, viongozi wote wa Kenya, kuombea amani kwa mipaka yote ya Kenya. Na taarifa hiyo ya wito wa amani na nipatie mimi nafasi ya kupata pumziko fupi. Sende mbali mtazamaji bado tunazo taarifa nyinginezo ambazo tumekuandalia.